Gonna start off slow, I think, as always. Just try and win the earlier rounds, tire him out a bit, like you said, with them body shots. Yep, okay. He sidestepped the body shot. That's alright. This tends to happen, I find. You tend to get rocked early on. Oh, he's he's pressure heavy. He's pressure heavy too. Wow. Little do you know, buddy. I've just come off the hell of a fight with a but much better pressure fighter than you. I'll stick that jab in his fucking face, if not. There we go. Oh, look at this, eh? I'm stepping out of his way. I'm catching him with body shots he doesn't want to be a part of. Boom, boom. Out out the way, out the way. Jab, boom. Step out the way. Move out of the way. Final ten seconds. Step out of the way. All right, all right, all right. Been his own destiny, but now are out of his smart, right? This guy's just throwing, hoping he hit something. Yeah, I agree. I agree. This guy's swinging like a bit of a madman. I won't lie. But yeah, we're just gonna take our time, man. Body shot, same again. Yeah, nice. You don't want to take any more incoming. Take no more blows on that. You know, give it a chance. Where the Move out of his way, you know. That's what we're going to keep doing. If we just have to work the body, we will. That's not going to help you. Jab straight. But the straight goes to the body. Oh, nice uppercut. Uppercut to the head. And body shot. Step back. Huh? Broadcasting by your side for all these years, I always hear you call the ring the Chamber of Truth. Explain to the viewers out there the Chamber of Truth. Well, what I mean by that, Joe, is, you know, in outside life, there's a lot of places you can lie, and to a certain extent, you can get away with it. But when you lie in that square circle, that Chamber of Truth, you get caught on those lies sometimes. Not always, but on any given night, you might get caught on it, and they're going to be exposed very quickly we're just out of the way nicely we're just getting out of the way constantly you know, this guy's got really strange pressure he's kind of backing up but apparently also wants to on the mark the counter punch by marshall i can i can counter punch you know i got a, all right counter punch move out of the way you see let me move, let me move, boom. tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. In and out, in and out, in and out. Let's move! Okay, good head movement from him, I suppose. Move out of the way. Nice, I'm out of his range all the time, man. Yeah, that's what I like to see. And that's what the judges are supposed to be looking for. You know, let's get rid of that damage real quick. We'll watch ourselves a little bit better. Strategically put them in the right spot. Good job. A nice block by Marshall. Perfect counter punch. What a hook 
That's how I stand by, me. Fucking lead hook counter is a beaut. Caught with that other, and then we went body hook, a uh, head hook, body hook afterwards, just to fucking bing, look at that, and then bing, corked him with that one. Oh, pardon me, naughty little shot there. Respect his power though, he's bigger than Hatton. Yeah, he's a lot bigger than Hatton. I got I got to understand that. I got to remember that. that he's a much bigger man. Right. Now, we make the most of since he was rocked. And we still still smart. Still keep my guard up. Now I'll move out of the way. Marshall's showing you a little defensive skill there. I better move away from that punch. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Marshall's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Oh my God! I'm just not letting him hit me. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Don't need to gas myself, do I? I've won the round, you know. So I just take my time with this round, I think, because he could regen all his stamina between rounds. So I've got to obviously make sure I, I'm aware of that. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Lead body uppercut this time. Oh, nice uppercut to the head though. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. And now he's acting like a fighter, coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Cool, good stuff. Marshall's feeling great. Good right stuff. Now. That was a nice round. He just scored the knockdown, and now he's got that eye. He's got that target, that vision. He knows what he can get after. And there's no reason why he wouldn't have Bang, that. body hook right off the start. The thing that he has to be careful that he doesn't have is overconfidence. He doesn't get reckless. Got you with that one. He thought, see? Oh, come on. How am I going to land two counters and he lands a farty little straight on the top of my hair? He didn't even hit me in the head. He hit me in the hair. And that's really going to count as a fucking rock, really? That's okay. That's all right. Everybody in the world's going to know that he let himself fall down. He gave up. But there's different ways, different phases of giving in. And this might be one of those phases. Very well, could be a could be a full ten rounder, but as long as we're you know, he's his stamina consumption is better than hands. Is pretty much where I'm going with this. First of all, I would say to him, what do you think that he's gonna make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard. No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's gonna get confidence now. He's gonna take advantage of this. This is great stuff. I mean. I mean, he's just throwing anything that he can think of, really, at this point. Remember the time you on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. Nasty shots all over the place. Good. Just digging it deep into the body, you know? It's not a bad way to have a round that we were rocked in, is it, really? You know. I'm okay with that round. I'm okay with that round. We got rocked at the start, which was silly, but... But we recovered nicely and got the... It's a fast-paced fight. It's an outside fight. It's exactly what he wants. Not only to be ahead, which we think he is, but to stay ahead. Marshall's staying away from trouble. He's out there on the outside. It is unbelievable to sit back and just watch what these guys are willing to give and to take. Wow, what a fight so far. Well, give and take, that's the key word. Sometimes you're forced to become great. And right now, each one of them are forcing the other to go to great places. Oh, good. 
Oh, good, uh... Good counters from him, though. I'll give him that. Yeah, good counters. Well, he's not really actually hitting me with his counters, but he's slipping out of the way of my counters and then not really doing much of his, but... I'm not going to complain about that because Hatton caught me with his counter and fucking dropped us at last fight, didn't he? So... I caught me with the block counter, but that one's not as bad. What a great round! Two minutes in, 60 seconds to go! Marshall's in the midst of this fight, boxing very, very well. Teddy, what does he have to do to maintain this kind of level? You know, I hate to use these old analogies, these overused analogies, but you know what? If it's not broke... Gonna sink the body shots. Oh, he sidestepped it. Oh, I sidestepped him. If he wants to let me sink body shots, I'll just sink body shots all day. I'm bothered. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. There we go. Marshall's doing an extraordinary Sits upstairs, much body work. Never giving his opponent. Don't abandon the way out. Can I say? Like it stops him from throwing. Yeah. He's way up on your score. I'll keep yeah, an eye. I'll make sure to it. keep sinking the body shots in. You know, it's in his element. It's in, sort of in his pool, so to speak. His waters. You know, it's an outside fight. It's a jabbing fight. Everything he likes. God, so many body shots. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. Keep moving around the ring. Oh, good body shot. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Watch my stamina, watch my stamina, watch my stamina, watch my stamina. Halfway through round six. Good body shot. I mean, he's kind of just throwing whatever he feels like and hoping something sticks to me, but... Ooh, okay. Good sidestep from him. Yeah, well, you know what you're saying, Joe? You're taking a peek and you're taking a swipe without meaning at his training. Because what he's telling you is he hasn't been taught some of the rudiments of boxing. That when you hurt a guy, you should go downstairs to finish him. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Marshall's doing a great job. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Oh, just walk away for the last few seconds. There we go. This guy's tough. Might go 10. But he's not winning. No lazy shots. I've got to watch my damage. Yeah, I think I can. I think it's going to have to be on points because this guy is really tough. It's like when he throws like ten straights in a row. I should be able to. I should. I should slip to the. Oh, I should slip to the side and get him. But it's all right. Hold on. Let me. I'll let him take the first minute of this round. Then I'll. I'll turn it on.
took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Comes right back at him with a left hand. upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault wow just sit back and enjoy this one you can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight so it's like the first time you heard ray charles sing god bless america you knew it was special you knew you hadn't heard it before i haven't seen oh. anything like this before i still got a few rounds of work to do that in the last game yeah I don't really even think he won that round, to be honest. I think even I won that, even though I let him have the first minute or so. And he's up on my scorecard. Now he just has to be careful that he doesn't get careless, he doesn't get reckless. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Marshall's well conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have him ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these blind judges sometimes. I hate to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. Imagine there was, um, like, bad judging in, uh, Esports Boxing Club. That'd be kind of cool. Not many people agreed with me when I said it, but I thought it'd be really cool. I thought it had a bit of bit of realism to the to the career like if you could get like some dodgy scoring and stuff okay should have probably gone for a body hook a uh, head hook or something for that counter but I suppose that is what it is isn't it ah. I thought it was a really nice hook as well but he just went under it like your parents came in the room and they put that switch on his corner not his parents told him get on this guy and now you're seeing the fear that this guy possesses because he went from stunned and damaged to staying right upright oh this is like santa claus's beard i'm telling you right now that's great stuff he fires one right back after taking one gotta love the work by marshall All right, good uh, good round. I think I won that, other than being rocked at the end there. But I think I still won that. I was all over him. I get rid of this damage. I might slow it down in this ninth, but I am I am probably significantly up. I think I'm really hope. Get back to the bodywork. Keep the hands up. Give me help for two rounds. And when this fight right. is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. I think it will go to points, personally. But there's nothing wrong with that. Another decision win in the bag. It's just funny how we KO Hatton, but... Can't KO this guy, but, you know... opponent is really getting away with one here because he hasn't been the victim of any body work. No, well, he should have talked to a plumber because, you know, he should ask the plumber, hey, if a guy has a real nice house, you know, you know, how can I, how can I mess it up? How can I ruin it? How, how can I flood it? Well, go downstairs and open up some pipes. Well, if a guy's fast, you know what? Go downstairs, open up some pipes, do a little flooding. You know, go down there. I mean, take away the speed. I think a good counter can get him, but he's he's hard, kind of hard to counter. Both men accurate with their hooks against each other. Oh my lord! 
Got to watch my stamina hitting him with that many body shots. Around. Hey, what's up, Mitch? I'm literally going to be doing this fight, and then I'm going to be going, man. And we got. This is the final round. Come with a good counter there. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Kermit Sintro. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Oh, that's got him. And he goes nice. Dropped him. Imagine me missing the stream because of the gym. Same again. Oh, he has nothing. Skinny's man. No, I miss your stream because of the gym. Oh, gutted. This is all right. It's always tomorrow. Always tomorrow. His stamina is actually okay. He's not gonna. He's not got Ricky Hatton low level stamina. Like, like Ricky Hatton did in the tenth. Or the eight for it. Oh, what a fucking slip! Yeah, I might probably will do GeoGuessr tomorrow. What a fucking slip and hook that was! Jesus, that was clean as fuck. Bang. That was a nice shot to drop him as well, man. But the rock was nice too. Keep the Whoa, two, three, three. This man got ten zipped and K O. That's how it's done, baby. Let's go. Another KO victory. Hey, what's up, King Killer? How you doing, man? I'm all good. Cheers. Now we're going to end the stream, unfortunately. But hey, look at that. 10 zip. 90, 80. And that final round would have been 10 8, maybe 10 7 as well. So, you know, perfect shots. Perfect, perfect few fights. The coach effect. Great stream. Yeah, peace out, Dago. Catch you later, man. But yeah, so, um,. We done well. We done well. Got uh, another few wins in. I think it was f four wins did we get in today? I think we got four wins in. Got it at the end. Yeah, unfortunately, man, it's all good. I'll be streaming it again though. Catch all four. I was. Don't worry, guys. I'll be streaming. Uh, I'll be streaming this game again for sure because we hadn't done it for like three weeks and I've kind of missed it. So we'll definitely do it again.